So this user at TradingView right here, Anima Anima, absolutely called this massive move in GameStop months ago. I'm gonna go over this article that this user posted in this video and how this user made a ton of money on this trade and how we can look at the next possible GameStop going forward. So let's jump in. What's up everyone, I'm Brad with the Money Dad channel. On this channel we talk about stock chart patterns and uh, stock chart pattern analysis and how we can make money off of uh, trading these patterns so if you're interested in anything like that, please hit that subscribe button and join the community. But in this video, I'm doing something a little bit different because GameStop has just been going absolutely nuts lately. And I saw this article when I logged into TradingView this morning. It was pinned by the editors, the top article, calculated YOLO number one, squeeze the game, GameStop. And I mean, I read this article and I just thought it was absolutely amazing. One, because he started talking about GameStop all the way back in August 27th of 2020. And he started, you can just tell by the way he was talking that he knew that this was going to blow up based off of the short interest in this company. And the reason for all that short interest is all of these investors think GameStop is going to zero because it's a brick and mortar store. Uh, it's been doing well with the pandemic because of the video game sales, but uh, most investors felt that that was going to be short-lived. As soon as the pandemic was over, GameStop was going to go bankrupt because people were going to stop buying video games in their stores, right? Everything is going online, e-commerce, all that. GameStop has been largely a brick and mortar store. So the sentiment was largely that this company was eventually gonna go out of business. If the company is going out of business, why is this stock shooting through the roof? Well, there's a couple reasons for that. So the big reason that GameStop stock has not gone down is because when Ryan Cohen came on board as a major investor, he brought with him the idea that we could turn this company around. We could we can start to change the business model so that it's not so reliant on the brick and mortar stores. You start to move things online. You're selling video games online now instead of in stores and that is more in tune with uh, you know, the 2020s as opposed to you know, the 2000s, right? Uh, I mean, we saw how Blockbuster went out of business. We saw how so many other companies had to change or they were going to die, right? Everything has to go online or it's going to die. That's just how it is. Uh, for a lot of companies anyway, right? So Ryan Cohen comes in as a major investor. He brings this sentiment with him and a lot of people believe in Ryan Cohen and what he can do to companies to turn them around. So that was catalyst number one. Catalyst number two was the short interest on the floated shares was over 100%. What does that mean? All of the shares available to trade on GameStop, every single one of them, more than that, was being shorted. So investors as a whole had more shares than were even available to trade on the short side. They were betting to the short side more than 100% of the available shares. And you can see right here on September 14th, he says the short float remains elevated and even significantly increased to 130% as bears took advantage of the negative figures reported last September. I think at this point, the short squeeze is imminent the market already showed half its hand. So he's saying back in September that the short squeeze was imminent. Let's look at this chart. I mean, he started calling this back in August. The stock was trading in the three to four dollar range. He says in September that the short squeeze is imminent. I mean, he is well ahead of all of this and he stands to make a ton of money. And he even uses a scenario up here where he talks about buying in at $5.10 a share. Well, look what GameStop is trading today. It closed yesterday at $148. And in the pre-market, we are currently up to $320. It's going absolutely insane pre-market right now. So $320, if you had bought in at $5 a share, if you had bought in at $5 a share, you're talking about 64X on your money. 64x so if you put a thousand dollars in you make sixty four thousand dollars if you put ten thousand dollars in you make six hundred and forty thousand dollars and that's just going long on the shares of gamestop he even says right here if you use options instead he says the sweet spot lies somewhere in buying the january 2021 out of the money calls he said this back in august he was calling january 2021 where are we at right now? It's January 27th. I mean, he absolutely nailed this. You would have made 
millions upon millions of dollars if you had put a couple grand into GameStop calls back in, when he uh, when he said this back in August. I mean, this is just an absolute nutty move. Even pre-market right now, it is jumping all over the place. I just said it was at, what, 320? Now it's at 357, 355, 359. It's just absolutely nuts, guys. Uh, and this is what happens when shorts get squeezed. When that short interest on the floated shares is so high, at some point, those shorts have to cover their positions if there's a margin call or if they're starting to lose a lot of money and they just want to cover that's what's called that's what a short squeeze is right they have to sell or they have to buy those shares that they're that they're shorting so if a stock keeps going up and you eventually have to just cover that position when you sell a shorted position it sends the stock higher and this is what we are seeing on a massive scale with GameStop here look this this price is just bouncing all over the place so what are some other stocks that have massive short interest well here's an article right here at barons.com it gives you the top shorted companies right now so GameStop way up there at 144 percent what's the next one Dillard Bed Bath & Beyond AMC is going nuts right now Academy Sports SunPower has had massive volume lately. I mean, this is a list of the most shorted stocks in the Russell 2000. So we're talking small cap stocks that have massive short interest. So those are some stocks for you guys to look at if you want to maybe find the next GameStop. Now, I am not a financial advisor. I cannot uh, tell you where to put your money. Uh, this is just an idea. If you want to look into some of these companies that may start to just go absolutely parabolic like GameStop if the shorts get squeezed. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but this is what happened with GameStop. This is how it happened, and it could happen with some of these others as well. Now, if you look at this float percentage, none of them are anywhere near what GameStop is. Dillard's is getting close, but then there's also a big drop-off after that. So maybe Dillard's is the play next. I have no idea, guys. Uh, maybe you leave a comment down below. Let me know if I'm way off base on this or if you do think, hey, Dillard's might be the next one. We saw AMC was the next one to follow suit with GameStop. I can pull up that chart real quick, and you can see that that one is going absolutely parabolic as well. Look at this. Over the last uh, week or two, it has gone bonkers from under $2 a share to now $5 a share. Now, that's only you know 150% or 200% increase over the last uh, week or two, which, hey, that's, that's insane, right? That's already insane money, but it's nothing compared to the 64X that we saw in GameStop over the last few weeks. Not even close. So is there more room to run for AMC? Is there more room to run for some of these other companies like Dillard's? I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think if uh, some of these other big short positions are gonna get squeezed. I'm really interested in this stuff because hey, we all like to make money here, but I don't wanna lose my money, right? I don't wanna get into the stock if it's about to crash. Uh, so let me know what you guys think here. Are these high short interest companies uh, worth investing in because you think the uh, shorts are going to get squeezed soon? Let me know. That's what I got for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber yet. I do stock chart pattern analysis mostly on this uh, channel, but I thought that this one was super interesting. I just had to get into it for you guys. And oh, by the way, right, right here at the end, let me show you. Uh, this is the chart that he posted back in August. Let's click this play button and see what's happened since then. Man, did he nail it, huh? Look at that. Absolutely bonkers. Okay, guys, hope you have a great day in the market, great week, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.